All right, back for round three, one and one, because of my misclick. I'm a champion. And hands pretty reasonable. A little bit awkward with the summit and the cliffs. Mana base might need some work, but I feel like with two colors, you should be able to figure out a way to make it pretty smooth. So, I'm not too worried about it. And I'm just going to run this pack right out there because I have plenty to do with my mana. I'm not sure what deck he's on. Marsh Flats could be Birthing Pod. It could also be some sort of green black deck where like he, he would want to kill back red, but I get to follow it up with Liliana and Chandra, so still not that big of a deal. And I'm certainly fine with that. Not sure what that means. What deck he's on. Could just be junk. But getting basic forest there, I don't know. Uh, regardless, just get the Liliana that thing, play a Lava Mancer. Uh, this time I will try to choose the correct option on Liliana. Always helpful when you when your cards do what you want them to do. Lava Mancer a little underwhelming in this game because now I have nothing in my graveyard. Got a Courser though. So a couple options here. Could bolt it and then Liliana uh, to have enough things to Lava Mancer it. And then his follow-up Courser will probably just die to this Liliana. Alternatively, I could play Chandra. Uh, ding it and bolt it and attack him for one. I don't want to plus one the Liliana at that point because I don't want to discard my sword because I think that's going to be pretty good here. Uh, I think the, the best option is to probably just get the Chandra into play. And then we just won't use Liliana this turn, which I think is fine. Means I have to deal with Corsair this turn. But it should be okay. If I go. If he taps out for Corsair and then I play Sword Equip on here, uh, he's not going to have a lot of good options. Like he might be able to attack and then decay my sword, I guess, which would be pretty bad. Uh, Relic's not bad. So, do I want to zero Chandra and try and hit a land? I think I might just want to keep ticking it up. Alternatively, I can just get aggressive I'm trying to move some stuff around here so I can let him attack my Liliana uh, the issue is like he has this treetop that can attack it plus if he attacks with Corsair I can't block anyway and he's kind of low. So we'll just play it that way. I can just be drawing 
Two cards to turn with Chandra if I'm able to find something to protect it. I imagine he's going to be attacking Liliana this turn. Can't really see a world in where he just attacks me. Could see him attacking, yeah, both Planeswalkers. Now if we play something like a Tarmogoy, if I could be in trouble. Just kind of bad, because I had to lose that Relic. A lot of good draw steps, though. A lot of good draw steps, and we have two potential shots at it, so... I don't think we're in the worst spot. Treetop Village is pretty good, though. Let's see, it's an ooze. I have a Liliana. Uh, So, certainly a good draw. Now he kind of has to treat out my Liliana. And then maybe, maybe Chandra and Lavamancer can deal in the last few points. All depends on what he has left in his hand, though. So despite these green creatures being pretty big, I navigated through those pretty well. Uh, I just need something to deal with this treetop. His Liliana is pretty good. Now I need to find a creature to put this sword on. I assume he's going to kill my Liliana, but it could just be that he wants to wear down the Chandra too. So Liliana might not be doing much. But does attack the Liliana. Uh, so I'm going to zero this Chandra, try and get some action. Um, alternatively, I could just kill his Liliana, but I don't think that really does anything. Because if I find something this turn or next turn, I can always ding it to keep it not at two. Maybe we could do Inquisition's last card, but we don't. I think we knew about that, too. That's all right, though. Ooh, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. I really want to get that Love Mancer back. That is also a good draw. Um, alright. Um, so I'm going to lose my Chandra to do this. I guess it might have been better to just uh, ping his Liliana and play Olivia. With two mana open, and then he can't really attack with Treetop. But I think this is fine. can put him to one next turn if he draws nothing. Or put him to two, actually. Yeah. Slaughter pack my muta bolts. So I'm gonna shoot it once. Uh, puts him on a two-turn clock. 
And then he has to commit mana to pay for this. I was thinking that uh, I didn't want to thought season this turn because if he had a removal spell, uh, he probably would have played it on this already. And then I thought next turn he might attack me with treetop, try and have a removal, and then I could use it to clear the way for me to vault. But obviously, like if he has slaughter pack, then he can't kill this. So I, I was probably just better off thought seizing him first. I'm not trying to get cute and like set up a turn where he's at two. I have mutable vault. He has removal, and I have a thought seize. So. Uh, other Olivia's and Blightnings seem pretty good. I like Nighthawks. I like Relic. Chandra is okay. Blood Moon is also okay. Uh, I might save that for Game 3, though. If there is a Game 3 where I'm on the play. Uh, so now I have to decide how many 3-drops I want. Where maybe I don't want all these Flame Speakers. But I feel like the discard is just pretty bad. Mostly just want to be drawing action. Uh, so then I could side in a Chandra or like a Miser's Blood Moon if I wanted to. Could also just keep in a pair of removal spells because it, it feels like for the most part I'm trying to <coughs> uh, use the discard to protect some of my creatures. But I think we'll just go with having all threats. Yeah, let's do that. And then our, our top decks are going to be better in the mid to late game. <clears throat> and certainly keeping this. Um, so, I might normally want to play Marsh Flats in case he plays his own Confidant or Small Tarmogoy for, like, Scavenging Ooze. Since I drew a 3-drop, I kind of want to have 3 mana on turn 3, but I think this is just better. Just because, like, if he does play a 2-drop, and then I'll want to play Confidant, but I don't want him to just, like, kill it, play another thing, and then I'm just super far behind. So I think doing it this way is just better than potentially not being able to play something on turn 3. Yeah, and this ends up being pretty good for me, I think. So I do have the third land, so I can Blighting him, but now I still just might want to play this and like start playing four drops. Could play something like Lingering Souls. Liliana's pretty good, too. Uh, now I feel like I definitely want to Blighting him, so I can kill this Liliana because I want all my cards. Also, might clear out some removal. Make it so Olivia and Chandra can stick easier. I just discarded two lands though. But that's fine. Uh, also keeps them like pretty low on resources. So that's, that's not the worst. I have the, the Relic Grim Lava Mancer combination, which is still fine. <laughs> nice Inquisition. It's exactly what I did round one. It's like all four drops. Does this Lava Manzer get to live? Somehow, some way? So, which one do I run out there? I think it might just be the Chandra. Mm. 
zero it off the bat, try and hit my land drop. If I miss, I'm only missing out on a point of damage. Okay, so you get my Olivia. Still not bad though, I mean. Drawing two every turn. At this point, I think I'm pretty far ahead to the point where I don't know what he could draw to get back in it. It's a big creature, I guess. Kind of have that thing on lockdown, though. Well, especially now. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I'm too scared of anything he could draw that I can't. There that I. I uh, can't deal with if I don't have slaughter packs. So I think I'm fine to just slaughter pack this and attack him. We're frozen. Oh, there we go. So yeah, if, I mean, if you draw Tarmogoyf, I can Lava Mancer it and Relic. If you draw something like Lingering Souls, I'll just have to grind through it, but that's not really a big deal either. Pump that lava claw reaches up. That's that's the first time I activated that thing, and he just kills it. But that's fine. We get to keep our utility guys in play. <clears throat> All out of basics. Mm, scavenging is pretty good. Probably a reason to keep the relic open. I should pay for this, seeing as I don't really want to lose the game. Drew another fetch land, which doesn't really help us. I guess I'm still zeroing this. Yeah, that's pretty good. I was skepti skeptical about bringing the Chandra in just because he has things like uh, Lingering Souls, which uh, might seem like Chandra's good against, but it can be pretty tough to like fight through all of them. Really need something like Olivia just to like machine gun all of them. So it's like if he has something like Souls that is able to pressure Chandra, or even just a bunch of green creatures, then Chandra might not be very good. But in this game, it's been awesome. Uh, so in response to the ooze, I'm going to crack the relic, get rid of his three creatures so he can't gain much of life. Draw a lightning bolt, which is not bad. And draw a Liana, which is not bad. Uh, so he's hellbent. Uh, basically can't lose, so just trying to figure out 
uh, what the the best way is to use all of our resources here. I don't think I can kill him in two turns, so I think we're still on the zero plan. Uh, Mutavolt is kind of awkward. Because I kind of just wanted to Lava Mancer that thing. Which would involve like playing the fetch and bolting him or something, but that's fine. Then we can just keep the bolt. Uh, use Liliana to kill this thing. want to activate the non-summoning sick one. Uh, I don't know which one is which. Okay, that's, yeah, this one doesn't have the summoning sick symbol. That's fine, though. Just make sure. Lose the mana, but I wasn't going to spend it anyway. I was kind of looking forward to bringing in Blood Moon Game 3. But oh well. Some other time, perhaps. Okay. Uh, so we are 2-1. So far, deck looks pretty good. I would have liked to play, game, play a Game 3 against that Splinter Twin guy, but what are you going to do? Uh, so far so good. I'm liking the deck. So far I haven't played against something where I feel like I would need a Tarmogoyf, so I don't think we're losing much, and if there is something that Blood Moon just KOs, I think this deck actually gives you a lot of game against that, but uh, we'll see how round four goes.